Okay, so I'm Chris and uh, Chris Hardwick. I guess I have to introduce myself. My, my name is Chris Hardwick. And uh, I, I'm an urban designer and planner. I work at this company called Sweeney Sterling Finlayson. And, uh, and I'm also on the steering committee for TCAT, so I work with TCAT a lot. And this is a, a little, today we're going to do this little, it's a beta. I hope everyone read the beta part of this thing. It's a beta test of this complete streets game, uh, which is a consultation that, tool that we're working on at, at TCAT. Uh, and it's, it's made to, uh, I'm going to tell the whole thing before I start the slides. I'm going to go to the agenda. So, so today, we, it's actually a pretty short time. Today we only get an hour and a half, and I think usually I think that a workshop would be a little longer than that. Um, so it's going to be kind of quick and fun. And uh, so I'm going to give a really quick introduction. Then I, I pick two streets that we can kind of work on, uh, just for fun. And, and the, the great thing about this is this is all uh, you know, just just a test. So. It's, is, 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 it, is it we were having a public meeting and it was a public engagement session and you guys were all attending? I know, I know you guys are all experts, so it's going to be this is not, not a true test of, of the thing, but, but it'll be good to get your feedback on it. So, and then so we'll have a, two quick exercises with streets and then we'll report back to the group. So, what is the idea of this thing? This is it's a little kit for designing a street for, for, for the lay person. So, it's a whole bunch of little pieces that add together. And, and, uh, and, and you stack them across in section to build a, a street and you're trying to work within your dimension, right? Which is the challenge always of, of making a complete street. And every, everybody wants their little piece of the pie. And so the, the real challenge is how do you negotiate that and how do you, how do you give everybody uh, a little bit of, of space on the road to, to keep within, within your right of way. So you can see the little, uh, that's a little uh, Metro Maintenance by Space, and if you don't know those guys, uh, it's amazing from Toronto, all the public space, and then they sell these little magnet sets uh, that you can build your own subway, you know, on your fridge kind of thing. And so the idea for this is that eventually, uh, when we get that funding, we'll, we'll do a magnet set, and you, you can sell this, and, and anybody can get, get it to run their own workshops themselves, or, or use them uh, like just for fun, make your, make your own set. My kid was making crazy streets the other day with this set that I made. So, so it's, it's, a, it's actually, it's kind of neat because it's, it's fun. It's a little more serious than the subway one. The subway one really isn't accurate. It's just a subway one. This one's actually accurate. And, and the, 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 the picture above, the picture above is, uh, we're also working with Code for America, where these guys, um, you might have seen this already. Uh, Code for America are, are a bunch of of hackers, coders, uh, based out of San Francisco, that that go in, they go into cities and, and they work for a year, uh, and they just do coding. They just say, "What what do you guys need?" Usually, they work at data and stuff like that. But one of the ones they did is uh, is this, which is a kind of complete street online, so you can you can redesign your street. Anybody can do it. And so the idea is, we're working with them uh, to 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 eventually have the same set uh, in analog and digital. So you could, you could have a public consultation online and get everybody's uh, street designs recorded online, but also have a, a workshop with, all, with the same pieces, and then be able, to have a, a, be able to gather all that information for people to show up in a public meeting, as well as online a broader consultation. So we're just, we just started, I just met these guys like two months ago, and they, they gave me their code, and so we're just starting that process. And hopefully, by the fall, we'll be able to kind of put these two things together. So we'll have a magnet set and, and this online uh, this online tool. Is that publicly available? Right? This is on the, on, the, on the web right now. I have it on the sheet, too. It's called streetmix.net. It's live. And, and the code is free. If you're into code, you can get it. Get it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go into complete streets today. We all know why we're here. But, you know, there's different kinds of complete streets. There's ones where everyone gets their own lane, and there's ones where everyone sh learns how to share them together. So these are all the kinds of, these are a whole bunch of examples of complete streets just to show you like how much stuff you have to fit into a street if you want to get it complete. So there's sidewalk, bike lane, traveling, parking, median, 
This one is just one of my favorites. It's got a, a LRT, then two roads, then bike lane, then drop off for a grocery store, big box, that all in one section. So there's other versions, buses, buses and bike lanes. And the LRT, and then try and fit transit in, different configurations, uh, one-way streets. So there's all different ways you can try and solve that thing and then just share just to get rid of all the cars. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. One. I always get in trouble when I get into that one. But anyways, and then there's also the, the context. What is on the edge of the street? What is making the street complete? Uh, it's not. It's not just to get a whole bunch of cars driving, everybody driving as fast as they can somewhere. It's also to make a place and have an, an edge condition that makes the street in, into a place. And then all the green stuff as well, which is becoming more and more important. And, and it's usually the last thing. People think about when they're when they're trying to design a street is how to fit in stormwater management and things like that in the street. So you have all these different elements that come together and in one section, in one cross section. And this is a little diagram we did a, a while ago to try and we, we actually asked hundreds and hundreds of people what should go into a street and we tried to get it all into one street to make the most complete street ever. And so you have all these different, I'm not going to go through them all because it's not enough time, but you have all these different building elements like carriage buildings, step backs, green roofs, uh, like cafes, active frontage, all the stuff you want with buildings. You have all the different mobility layers, bike lane, bike boxes, walking to school, we got electric cars in there, there's accessible crosswalks, there's LRT, there's a subway station, buses, you've got it all. It's all in there. And it, you know, it looks like a reasonable place, even with all those things in there. And it's streetscape elements like the stormwater, the rainwater gardens, the, the trees, and, and all the benches and bollards, and all such things. Bike parking and accessibility is another major issue. So you have a bit of, I went through most of those things already, like the wayfinding signage and all the, the accessible crossings and the little buttons at the crosswalks and things like that. And this is when we did like 10 years, more than 10 years ago now. It shows the transformation of a, of, a, of, a, of a suburban street out in Vaughan there. And you add, add, start adding pedestrian amenities and transit, and over time, bike lanes. And over time, the edge conditions come in, <coughs> and, 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 and the, the private sector responds, and you get a real street. And you can see that, that when you just have the pedestrian stuff, it's still not a great place to be. You can put in all the pedestrian amenities that you, you can, and you still need the buildings before you, you actually get a complete street. And mature trees don't, don't hurt either. And so, so this, is a, this is one we did with a TCAT, uh, to, and this is very similar to this exercise. It's called the Complete Street by Design uh, book that we did. And it's taking a whole bunch of sections, cross sections, and saying, like, this is the existing one at the top, and what could we do to make it a little more complete? And one of the challenges in this, when we did this, was there's, there's many different ways to make a complete street, so we could only choose one of them, and we'd get all these comments back, like, why do this, and why do that? And so, so one of the things that's neat with this little exercise, you can do a whole bunch of options really quickly, and there can be more than one solution to having complete streets. So this is the one, this is one of the sites that I, I, I gave for, for today's workshop. Um, Eglinton, nice big white suburban arterial. Uh, I won't hope, I shouldn't have showed you our answer, but I want, to see, <laughs> I want to see what answers you guys come up with for that one. It's a rather bleak <laughs> challenge. <laughs> for this, and, and for this, for this, uh, this document, we try to be, we try to be as kind of conservative as we could. Like, how could we do it without, like, you know, cutting, cutting out more opening under the bridge and like some major? We were trying to keep this kind of cheap and as efficient as we could. So that one has bike lanes up, up with the sidewalk to get them off the road as they go under the bridge. And this is one where we proposed a little, uh, when we're at the shared, shared street on Logan, which is almost a shared street anyways. It's a, it's a very tiny little quiet uh, main street in her um, residential street in Toronto. And this is a suburban next to a school where we were doing a share. I was like, kind of like a, like a greenway solution and Young Street. Young Street, well, there's, there's many people competing for what the future of Young Street should be. This was, this was one version that we did, which is before and after putting kind of a, a 
continuous field with the removable boulders so that you can have a kind of festival days and have the, the bike lanes be really subtle across that through that uh, through that space. So today, that was, that was fast enough. I was, I was okay. So today we have a, it's actually really simple. I hope you guys get it just like this because it, it really is. It's actually maybe overly simple, but hopefully the the time we spend will be in the in the in the, in the working out. Anyway, so on everybody's table, there's a sheet that looks like this. It's called the board. The board. And really, all is that is a ruler, right? It's just a. It's, this is your street section. to scale, and this is in meters from the center line here. So if, if your if your right away is 20 meters, then you only have 10 meters on each side. I should have both the numbers that look confused. So, so 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 what you're trying to do is fit whatever your ideal street is within your right away. And 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 then in the little secret bags on your table is all the little pieces like this. And so I hope I hope they're fairly uh, self-explanatory. They all have names on them, dimensions, and little pictures. And and they sit on top of they sit on top of the ruler. So you can still measure as you're going. And then you just mix and match until you have a street that you like. Oh, and that's it. So that's the instructions. Instructions. So everybody has a little. Um, there's, there should be enough. I think there's a few extra people in here. I have some extra here too. Um, it has all the, the rules. I'm sure I told you what they were. So the idea is, is once you get one you like, to take a picture of it. And we have cameras here. Or if there's a smartphone, whatever. You can do this. If this is a real one, we would put them all back up on the on the board at the end, but I don't think we'll do that today. I, I think I, what, I want, what I really want to do is actually, next time I'm going to have a camera set up. Well, they're not magnets yet either. I didn't do magnets. This is a baby test. So eventually they will be magnets when we get the funding. <laughs> they were a little bit more expensive to do. But the, people could bring it up to the camera. I would shoot it oh, so cool. in exactly the same place that we'd have this perfect kind of collage to do at the end. But okay, we'll just take pictures for fun. And you can email them to your friends or tweet them. What's your tweet? What's your tweet?